Hey guys, Old School Brian here, and today I got some finds to show you. Uh, I went to the flea market today, and man, it's been a while. Um, quick stories, I thought my flea market was not year-round. I knew they had an indoor area that was year-round, but I didn't know the outside was open year-round. And I found out today that it is open all year-round, and um, you know, no matter what. And I didn't know that, and I've been going there for years, and I couldn't believe it, so... I wish I would have known it sooner. I probably wouldn't have spent so much money on eBay for stuff if I knew I could have went down to the flea market and kept finding stuff. So anyway, I went there today. It was a little bit nicer out. Be able to start going there on the weekend again. And um, found some cool stuff. A um, bunch of different, well, a couple different systems the stuff's for. And I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, first up, I found this. Uh, I was walking and I saw this guy and he had... Um, bunch of games and uh, it's like a variety of other stuff and just a quick tip when you're going to the flea market and you find you know people that have like a it looks like they have like a wide variety of stuff like kids toys and lamps and freaking shirts and stuff like that and they got games those are the people that usually you know you'll get a really good deal from usually I don't know what stuff's worth they just took it from their house to garage or attic trying to make some extra money and uh, I think I ran across one of those guys today I didn't get nothing worth too much, although I haven't really priced any stuff. Some of the stuff I know what it's worth in my head, so but I still think I got a good deal. Um, and uh, right, I'll show you what I got. First up is for the Intellivision uh, Golf, and some of these I already have. I bought them because of the condition, because a lot of them I can upgrade my boxes. Um, and fill in any missing missing pieces that I have, uh, missing stuff that I have, because um, every one of these is complete. So next up is horse racing, boxing, space armada, auto racing, Uh, I thought this one was cool, uh, Frog Bog for the Intellivision. My wife is the Frog Bog champion on the boardwalk. We play it on the boardwalk sometimes, and she just wins and wins and wins and gets my son whatever he wants um, as far as the prizes go. Uh, but this one looks kind of cool, so I'll definitely be giving that a shot. Check it out. Next up, Las Vegas Roulette. Las Vegas Poker and Blackjack. Skiing, which is in very, very good condition. Uh, this one's not such, not in very good condition. Um, it's a little beat up, a little bent. And the one I have, I believe, is the same thing. But for some reason, the one that I have, I thought was a different color. And I can't see it from here. But that's Donkey Kong. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was a different color, but it came in a lot anyway, so... And the last one is basically a game that you get with every lot that you buy as far as in television, and that's Major League Baseball. It seems like everybody that bought it in television back in the day got this game because I got a lot of copies of it. They just come every time I buy them like this. So I got these 11 games from the one seller. Uh, I paid 20 bucks for it. It was my first purchase of the day. Um, I thought that I could have probably got them for a little bit less, but... I think 20 bucks is a good deal. It's under $2 a game, and I'll pay that all day for in television games. I usually tend to pay between 2 and 3 bucks for now. One more thing it came with was a in television looks like a manual. Now, this is one system I, that I don't have box. I don't even think I have any paperwork for it. Um, so I'm not I don't know what, if that's where this came, but I'm I'm assuming that's what it it came in the box with the system when it was boxed. It has little blurps and pictures talking about a bunch of different games that were released for the system so I'm assuming that's what that's for now next up I got a NES game and that's Star Soldier uh, this is a game that I did need and I saw these games this guy had like two stacks of them all NES games it was all common stuff or stuff that I already had so I wasn't interested in it and Star Soldier was on the top and I kind of looked at it and thought, oh, do I need that? And I was like, I was almost 100% sure that I didn't need it. My wife's like, no, you don't have that game. 
And um, so I kind of like, I was thinking, I pulled out my iPhone, went on NintendoAge.com and uh, pulled up my collection sheet and saw that I didn't have it there. I haven't checked back here yet because I don't update my collection page that often because I'm very lazy. But I don't think I have it. I mean, I may end up having it, but you know what? Let me check in. Let me know. QRS. No. And I don't have it. So I picked that up. I didn't have it. She was right. I'm glad I got it. I paid three bucks for it. Happy with that. Next up for the GameCube, I got... Um, there was a seller at the flea market that had, and one day I'm going to bring the camera there to show you all these people because there's a lot of people that sell video games. Um, there's a guy at the flea market I go to that personally has an inventory of just what he's hoarded over the years. He's got over 10,000 NES cartridges, which I, I don't think there's any stores out there, period, that you can go to retro gaming stores that got that kind of inventory. And that's just his NES stuff. He has everything else, too. I mean, thousands of Game Boy games, stuff like that. He has no teeth, and he has wooden shoes, and he's the last guy that you would think that would know anything about video games. He knows every single price in his head. It's pretty crazy. I want to bring the camera there one day and show everybody. Anyway, for the GameCube, I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Night Nightmare 3, or Mutant Nightmare 3. And I picked this up. It's in, you know, it's got this fake label on the front and some generic case uh, I picked it up because it does have both the discs and the one that I had already was missing a disc so now I can put that into with the disc and then I got the extra one to keep or if anybody ever needs it I'll be able to trade it you know give it to them trade it off whatever but I was happy to get that I paid five bucks for it the same seller had super monkey ball for the GameCube for five bucks and I almost bought it, and I opened it up, and there was no uh, disc in there. So I was a little disappointed. I did want to pick that up. Now, the last thing I got, my wife actually saw. I didn't see this. I was kind of walking. I saw her bend over and start looking at stuff, and I just kept walking. And um, she found a Atari 2600 Hot Wheels, um, like, van. <laughs> Car, sealed. Uh, it's pretty cool because the van looks like a Atari 2600 console as far as the black and the wood grain go um, kinda looks just like it and uh, when she first showed it to me I looked at it I was like oh, it looks kinda old but something about it I was like you know I don't think it, it's really oh it's a motorhome GMC motorhome something about it just kinda made me not think it was that old um, but I didn't say anything she was like oh I found this old thing so I looked on the back after we bought it, we got it for four bucks, which I would have bought it for anyway, because four dollars I thought it was a good deal to have this sealed. Um, it looks like a pretty cool collectible to have next to the Atari 2600 stuff. But so I looked on the back, and uh, you can tell right when you look at the back that it's uh, that it's newer, and this was released in 2012. Um, it looks like there was a set of six of them made, um, a couple of games, uh, Breakout, Centipede. Missile Command, then it got like a Pong system clone game type thing. Um, they all look pretty cool, actually. I might try to get them all, but this one will probably be the most collectible because it is really like officially like an Atari 2600 thing. Um, so, yeah, so it was cool. So, that's my pickups, my finds for this weekend at the flea market. I did get two other things. Uh, I forgot to bring them down, so I'll show them next time. I also got a couple packages coming. Um, eBay stuff. I'm kind of trying to finish up my Odyssey collection, so you know it's going to be some sort of Odyssey related stuff. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let me know if you found anything this weekend because I know the garage sales are opening back up and everything like that, so everybody should be able to find some good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.